truck's gone over. Bloody hell. We have arrived at our next site. Um, what well, are some beautiful views of the mountains and hills. Even it's actually though the most protected one in Europe. Yes, apparently so. I've heard that this beach is really popular with nudists. Good morning. Um, it's a new day today. It's moving day for us because we've been in Benidorm now for a whole week, seven nights, um, and we're going somewhere new today. So we're still not going to tell you where it is just yet because we want to make sure we can get there and get on the uh, site or air or area, camping area. Um, I want to make sure we can get on it first, so then we'll show you. But because I'm moving, um, I'm just I'm working from home at the moment. I'm just waiting for some updates to install on my computer. So while Lee's done all the van, bless him, he's just got a couple of things to do. I am making us some sandwiches for the road. Some nice chorizo. cheese. Just need a juicy tomato. Oh, and there we have one. Four rolls for our journey and we're heading off just now. Lee's just gone out to do the Elson. Um, I'm just going to clear up here, wrap these lovely sandwiches up, and then we're going to head off. Still not 100% we're going to end up where we want to go, but you'll soon find out. A bit dangerous on a road like this. So we're stuck in traffic, but I don't think people really know what they're doing. They're just like free for all, move in any direction, put your indicators on, put your warning lights on. Look. Strip, just nip in there. Maybe it goes into two lanes or something and they're trying to get into the lane back there. Yeah, but they've got these ones are using it right, they're going right to the end and doing like you should do. Just cutting in when people aren't looking, that's what causes accidents. It does say that it's red for a little while and then goes back so we haven't, we haven't got too long on it. Oh the truck's gone over. Bloody hell. Jeez. So after that bit of mad traffic we had back there we're actually now on quite a peaceful road. Um, it's not as well maintained, it's a bit bumpy in places, but it's a nice peaceful road, isn't it, Lee? Yeah, it's an easy, another easy road. We have lovely scenery, look at all this. So like just driving through the mountains. <laughs> have arrived at our next site. Um, it was about a four hour drive actually so it's a bit of a stint today and the roads some of them ain't so good. Don't get me wrong they're 100% better than the UK but um, some of the road coming into where we are up and over the mountains can be a bit you know juddery I suppose on the uh, on the wheels but yeah so we're at a lovely site. Um, we found it on search for sites didn't we? Yeah it's, it's Cab Carboneras, I think, Carboneras, I'm not, yeah. I might be pronouncing it wrong, we will put it on the bottom mm -hmm. of here. Um, it's near Almeria, which okay. is just up the road, um, we're in Andalusia now, in that area. I'm learning. Mm. It's got lots of motorhome stops here, 
uh, pictures here um, and you just come in there's not always someone on reception but they will come and find you you can just pitch up there's plenty of spots um, and I believe it's about uh, 25 minute walk to the beach from here but we've just driven around it looks really pretty here we're going to go down there and take you down there with us in a bit so we're here I'm not going to show you, but we are on the chocks on the other side. Um, it's quite hard because it's quite stony and gravelly. Um, but for some beautiful views. And for the mountains and hills all over there. And then we've got the toilets, showers, uh, laundrette. And uh, beautiful blue skies. Look at that. Wait till you see the actual beach. That's the reception just down there, and that's where we're going to head off now and pair yeah. before we, we are. find the walk to the beach. There's a walk um, quick way down, apparently. Yeah, I so think, we're going to um, find that. I think they said it's 10 euros on the um, search for sites, but I think it's actually 12 now. Right, okay. Obviously, everything goes up. So we're just outside the camper park. And that's the number for it and um, where you can find it on there. We will put a link in the description as well. But it tells you all the different services it provides as well. Um, and it's just over there. So we're just over there somewhere. And this is um, a path that we're on now. It leads down to the beach. We've already driven through the beach earlier on through the road there to get here. Um, so we know what it looks like. We didn't know how to get there. Um, walking distance so she's just the lady's just told us to follow this path so that's what we're doing isn't it it is yeah and as Julie said so we're following the path um, I did see on the sign actually while we was putting that out it says the beach or player um, is 1.5 kilometers so a mile uh, oh, just under right. a mile so that, that that's pretty good um, but like, you know, it is on a bit of a main road, but just make sure you, you take the footpath and you'll be fine. Um, so a mile, 20 minutes, I would say walking distance. She says um, to go through the cemetery and she also said it's a very calm place. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, okay. But yeah, it's, um, it is a national park as well. Um, so it's even though- It's actually the most protected one in Europe. Yes, like apparently that. so. Yeah. And because it's a national park, they're not actually really allowed camp sites. So even though it's got all the facilities, it's even got a swimming pool that a campsite would have, they're just calling it a camper park. So it's somewhere you can park. Um, but you know, you can't have um, barbecues, open fires, stuff like that on the outside. So um, yeah, it's a protected national park. It just feels quite surreal really, just walking along a path in the middle of nowhere in Spain, that's yeah. what it feels like. Up there, on that main road, that's pretty much where the roundabout is, um, that it looked like you were falling off a cliff. Oh God, that was um, That's on that corner up there. Um, I wish I'd film that. Yeah, so it's pretty much um, just around the other side of that, that cliff top there, but I think is an easier way through, obviously, but um, we'll be sure to tell you we've not. But a mile, that's good for us. Yeah, so, oh, the amount of walking we did in Benidorm. Yeah. <laughs> With our yeah. campsite being like 30 minutes away. Yeah. Um, we did get a taxi twice. Yeah. The whole time we are there, the rest of the time we walked, didn't we? Yeah. So it looks like an abandoned it. house. And that's its little, little courtyard. With the grills on it. Somebody must own it. Possibly. Possibly. You could just tell by looking at the land how hot it gets around here, which is meant to be one of the hottest places in Spain, isn't it? Around this area. This yeah. area. Um, We're on the you, coast at the moment though. Yeah, so even the palm yeah. trees get scorched underneath. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, as anyone, you adapt, overcome and they survive, so I'm sure they're farming the land all right all this land that they work on and I'm sure over there so that's like a little community uh, behind them walls um, I suppose like a little village within a village I suppose but you know it's a nice little bit of protection they've got there 
I've got Crocs on and I've got um, Sam's stuff on the shoe. Oh, wow, well, taking back souvenirs already. <laughs> without even asking the locals. This farm in the land, obviously they have to lay down all the water pipes um, just to give, keep the water flowing, really. So we're walking past that little um, village within a village I spoke about. Um, they said go past the cemetery, um, which is here. It looks like very western, doesn't it? You know, it looks to me, if you can see it, um, just like little posts in the ground or rocks, or rocks that are painted white. And that is obviously the slight difference between home and here. Um, maybe people can't afford a, a big stone carved out and stuff like that. So it is literally just a rock or post in the ground painted white. Um, right up the uh, cliff. Different, isn't it? Very different. Every change has a reason. Was just saying you know how different it is from where obviously we've come from but it is like a ghost town it's like nobody about no one but, um, it's quarter to five in the evening we've had the old car go past yeah. other than that and there's a farmer doing some work on its land mm. um, but it is nice to come to places where it ain't crowded with people on holiday and stuff and just just seeing what the actual town or village is like this is um, definitely what we needed after Benadon, yeah. maybe, is to yeah. see some midnight like this. That's right. Uh, just see the sea. Yeah. So, like I say, just over there. So we're not actually that far. It says, like I say, mile. They've got lovely paths, haven't they? You were saying about Yeah, that. lovely paths as well. And it's, it's reasonably clean. Then you've um, got that building there, right in the side of the... Like, in the that cliff, yeah. Things. Hoping none of that topples down on, on it, yeah. but yeah. Palm trees. <sighs> what more could you ask for? We've come away from that campsite and down into towards the, the beach area. There is a little bit more life yes. <laughs> and things going on. Just a little bit. Yeah. Um, but we're, well, it don't matter. We can go left or right and the sea's both directions. So yeah, we came from that direction, so let's go that direction. Yeah, so as Jody was saying earlier, as you get further down, it's a bit more built up. So there is the odd supermarket and, you know, just, I suppose, a row of shops, hairdressers, florists and stuff like that. It's just like a, you'd expect around a community, you know, yeah, so they need really. It's just... That's right. It's a bit more of the real Spain rather than... Um, so I was crossing the road then. But the touristy yeah, kind of yeah, area. then the touristy area. I don't area. think it's as big a tourist area this, to be honest. No, but um, it's absolutely stunning though. But it's um, good for that, I think. Yeah. Back in the day, you could have even got your corset. <laughs> Although that that's shut now, so it must have been definitely back in the day. You still get them now. Well, yeah, but not at that shop, because it's shut. <laughs> <laughs> go, there's a spa shop. Oh, and we're going to go up through that way. Oh, I bet they can, can. Lovely place. Maybe well worth a visit. And then go down there, I think. Okay, yeah. So what we're finding down here is um, a lot of the shops are shut. Now, we're five to five, so we don't know if they open around five. That's a long old siesta. Or is it because it's Monday? And they just thought, well, it was shut Sunday, so they keep shut Monday. Yep. Who knows? Well, we've made it down to the uh, the beach. It goes all the way back up there, um, and all the way here. So yep. it's a bit. It's not as busy, that's for sure. But I don't know if it's uh, a holiday. It's 
have a little look. There we go. Empty. If, if you can see, I'll well, go as far as I can show you. But over here, over there, there's like old hotels and things sort of built into the the mountainside there. So there must be some kind of holiday resort to a, to a level because otherwise there wouldn't yeah, have Yeah, I been. think it's more maybe of a Spanish holiday resort. So maybe, of course, kids maybe, are at school, yeah, yeah. people are back to work, you know. Showers, halfway down to the beach. And um, there's a sign there, was one of them. You can take that then. I don't know what I'm saying, it's in Spanish. Uh, so that's the Mediterranean. <laughs> the sea is absolutely beautiful. However, I have also heard, so I won't go too far on the sand because I've heard that this beach is really popular with nudists. So, oh, yeah. yeah, we don't want to go too far onto the actual well, we can, sand we can walk along and the beach film, if you want. is what I'm saying, because it looks like, you know... What are you saying? Then? We're do it looks like we're film. going to start filming nudists. <laughs> but the night from that's why we've got the camera down. Yeah. No wonder we were getting got at when we were... If they the want to get their tackle out... I ain't filming it. And he's just saying because he, he's a bit darker tan than me. Well, I'm starting but, to look, look like I fit in now. <laughs> That's good. Just got to learn the lingo a bit better. Although I'm picking it up here and there. Yeah. I suppose you are. Yeah. Well, that'll be the lifeguard hut, won't it? Actually. Restaurant here, El Cabo. Oh. Got oh, yeah, like a kids' play park here. Yeah. No, you're not going in it, Lee. No. I'm thinking more for you. I get stuck on the slide. That'd be embarrassing. Mm -hmm. I get wedged in. <laughs> so there's some more like shops and things down here, seating areas. So we'll keep plodding on down here and see what we can find. Anyway, just found another restaurant that looks very nice. But we're looking to see if we can see opening times, but we can't see any opening times either, so that would have given us an idea to when everything else opened. They've actually found somewhere now that's open and there's some people just out there just having something to eat. Um, probably ice cream or something. Looks like some nice milkshakes anyway. So Lee's just looking at, what are you looking at? Properties. Properties. 110,000 euros, all the way to 330, and that's quite nice. It's not very like, clear on the pictures. like villas, so they um, just apartments. Like, I think they're shared apartments, maybe. No, no, yeah, just, just an apartment, yeah. Yeah. Not all of them. This looks like a, a nice restaurant to sit out and have that view there. Will you eat in? Some shade. Need some shade, yeah, love, dear. Because I'm shrinking fast. You're shrinking? Yeah. Not like smaller. Everything. Everything? Yeah. Obviously I'm losing every bit of water out of my body. <laughs> and I'm dripping. In other words, he's sweating and he wants some shade. So we've got this sculpture up here. And I've just read that this from this sign here, that this area. We used to have fishing boats come out to sea with small boats coming in and uh, the women and children used to help bring the fish in and they used to have a fish market just here where, where we're stood. Um, they had a fish market and the fish market, all the fish was all tied up the best they could and it was sold to local villages and for the highest bidders and things like that. But that was, uh, just used to be where the fish market was saying earlier um, about this being a protected national park area um, and it's 
probably the most protected in Europe. Now, I'm guessing, because I don't read Spanish or speak Spanish, so I'm guessing this is just explaining about that. And then it's got a few photos of the areas that are protected, I guess. I guess that's what it is anyway. But there is the, um, the rock. Yeah, they just look like people's names, so it must be kind of dedicated to people or something like that. I, I don't know. But if you've been here and you do know what that's yeah. all about, and you, or you can um, add a little bit of comment to what we've been looking at, because you know the area. Please let us know. What an anchor. I know, I've seen that already. And there's an anchor. And they've got some nice, like, steps there that you can sit on. And I guess you could have some kind of performance going on there, I think. And... Oh. These after the shaded bit, I think. I'm going for a swim. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. And you can go over it and you can sit in the shaded bit in the middle. Are you going to go on that and go over it? Might be slippy. I don't know for me though, with a camera in my hand. It's like a humpback bridge. Yeah, but I need both hands to come down with, darling. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> there she is in her comeback crocs. She can get up to that crossing crocs at Benadorn. What well, you got to watch though, <sighs> if it's stagnant water. Yeah. Are we gonna have I ain't seen no mozzies. They're a bit, it's a bit warm for mozzies right now. They come out during dusk hours. Casa de la Musica Theatre. So this is a, a music theatre, we believe. A lovely building. Actually, I know there is a castle here, so yeah, I don't know if it's a castle. Um, but it looks very castly, shall we say? Okay. Um, but this must be like the main square. Look, you got over there another government official building. Um, but here, it looks to me. Yeah. The uh, it's the castle. So I'll take you back here, and there you go. Not actually open, which no, is a it shame. It opens at six o'clock, this is what, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit early, but it does open at six o'clock. Okay, San Andres Castello. But, but to be honest with you, I don't really want to go and wait around, then there's lots of flies around here. Yeah, it's, it's really quite a bit of a, an area that has lot, holds lots of flies. This area looks like one of the Shopping streets, doesn't it? It does. It's yeah. got lots of little a few shops. things here, barbers and stuff. Like just that. coming off the square where we just were. Um, there's lots of restaurants and that, but like I said, none of them are. Well, there's only that one or two I've seen open. Yeah. Um, one thing, don't bring your motor home down here. Them roads are quite tight and narrow. <laughs> you so wouldn't get a motor run down. Make sure you got a good sat nav. <laughs> it's a bit like Cornwall for that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the roads and stuff. Yeah. Very nice. Antique jewellery, I think. Antiques and jewellery. So that guy there is Eddie Fowley. We can only just read this, but he's, um, I think he was like a film director. He was a guy that was born in, um, he was born on August the 8th, 1921 in London. And he came here, something to do with a film that was shot here. Um, and he stayed here uh, for the rest of his life. and dedicated yeah. his time to this area, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm sure, sure there's a hell of a lot more to it than that one. I'm struggling to read it, to yeah. be honest. Um, yeah. He stayed here until his death in yeah. 2011. Yeah, so that's quite nice that he's got mm. that monument there to remember him by. Yeah. Walking up one of the uh, back streets just to see what it's like, really. It's a lot cooler as well, because of obviously all the buildings and stuff like that. Give us the shade. So yeah, just seeing what that's about. We're gonna end this vlog here. We're just going into the spa. Mm -hmm. 
which we found. Yeah, get some food. Get some food, settle down for the evening and head off tomorrow somewhere else new. Yes. Well, you'll find out tomorrow. We'll find out tomorrow. Um, we, don't, we don't know 100% ourselves, do we? We don't. No, we we don't. know the area, but don't know where we're going. But, but we'll find out tonight and let you know tomorrow. And um, once again, thank you to everyone that's subscribed to the channel and support us on our journey. Um, and we will catch you wherever we end up next. Yep. See ya. Bye.